Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Janine Edwards here, your favorite unique presenter. How are you? So if you see this red live box, I am live. Happy Easter. Question of the day. What are you eating? What are you eating slash what are you cooking? We're going to use the mattifying grammar. No, I don't want to do that. So we're going to use the mattifying grammar. We'll get you down good. Hey, Uncle Sam. So you take it on the back of your hand. This is where you get these kind of oils. Uh, I'm going to my straight tea zone because that is where it all happens. If you come in, make sure you say hello. Friend and follow and share me out and let me know what you are eating today. So we had him last week. So <laughs> we were going to have it. This is a man I heard. If you have oily skin, you are going on under this. Because you can see it for salaries and perfections. Hey, Alexis, how are you? Baby, Anka. What are y'all doing today? I do not cook on holiday. Just eat it. I'll be honest. No one will eat it. They barely eat it on regular days. So we're going to use this cream foundation I used it yesterday. My Joe Baskins. Hey, Alyssa. My Joe Bat or er, Joe Baskins. He'd probably be pissed. My Joe Exotic look, and I loved it. So this is Chiffon Cream Foundation. I was like, my skin was just like eating it up. I was like, dang. We don't have it anymore. It's discontinued. We're just putting it right under the eyes. But it looks so good. I was like, who are you, gal? I was in full costume. If you don't know, I have a TikTok. Go follow me on there. It's Queen J923. Uh, it's new. I just got on it. I really was like holding out. I did the same thing with Snapchat, but you know, I had to come on. Hey, Pamela, how are you? So you're taking this and you're putting it in the center of your face. All these spots are just a highlight to today. What are you eating? I put a lot on the lid too. And I'm gonna go spray foundation today, uh, just because for me, a spray foundation is amazing. It looks airbrush. And I'm gonna make a picture of my child. I already told him I said, we get dressed. I need you. I'm wearing yellow. So he's wearing brown, red. Or blue. I don't know why they like blue. But I get it, you know? And uh, so he's like, okay. He comes out the shower. Hey, Anna, Karen. Oh, I love your name. Red on red on red. It's like, Lord, I was like, why don't you wear something nice? I was like, we're going to take Easter pictures. With my bow. <laughs> We're just blending it all in. This is a shade chest of your my skin shade. And you're starting to get that summer sun. That was perfect for you. Look at that. So if you have any blushes uh, or like birthmark or something that you scar and you like to cover, you do the concealer first. If you are like, my skin is good enough, there's no scarring, no discoloration, you do the concealer second. So that's my tip of today of how you wear your concealer. You can also just put it on the start. Yes. Who? No, she's three kind. This is the question of the day. Is Jayla White? She'll know what they're going to say. If it doesn't, 
here, we're here. And we're blending it in. So like I said, this is really easy spray foundation. Spray in your kabuki brush. Uh, you can get a brush free this month. You have foundation waste. Unfortunately, the spray foundation is not included. And you can get that mattifying armor. Look at that. See? Hey, Kimberly. Kim, what are you up to today? I'm bringing it down. I love Iran. Hey, Jaden, if you're close, how's his arm? I'm late. Boom, look at that. I do these brows. So, brows are insanely important. I get messages about them probably every day. What is the best product? Here's how you pick. If you want to fill in, you're like, I'm not doing fancy stuff. I don't want to do fancy stuff. I don't have time. Brow liner. If you were like, I still have some glue in my brow. If you were like, I need help and my my stuffs aren't the best, you go brow pot. And like I said, I'll help you choose. Hey, Natasha, how are you? So this is the brow pot. This is what I use. Um... I'm not really wearing makeup, I would rather the brow liner. But when I know I'm going full glam, I would rather the brow palette. But I am extra, attest to all my friends, you'll know. So I'm coating the brush with wax first, and then I go in with the dark. And I have legit quarantine brows right now, meaning they are completely natural. Like, they would be so much thinner. We're going to go here. Hey, Reginald. Hey, Louise. How are you? What are you cooking up today? Hey. Hey. Can you say hello to everyone? Hi. Hi. This is my nephew. Oh, don't. Oh. Too much of my nephew. Jackson? Yeah? We don't need no... Okay. no. Go brush your teeth. Hey, Michelle. Oh, it is looking late. Oh, well. How are you? How are you? How are the puppies? They're so cute. I thought about them. And then I remembered. Oh, me. What did I do? Now the children, if I told them about it, they would want one. At least you're not picking me up the house. Okay, no fighting in my background. Okay, well, leave them alone and you won't see it. That's really rude and mean. So it starts. It was so peaceful and quiet. It was so peaceful and quiet. Can everybody tell me if my video is okay? Like, is my audio good? So now I'm taking the light powder. So here's the secret to the brows. You see all that leave out I left? You want to do that. Because this is how you make your brows look natural. And so you go on the line and you pull her up. And then now you're just going to bring up. Now I leave that like this. If you leave it when you put in the wax, you'll get it. Same thing a brow. Go on that bottom line just to blend it out so I don't look terribly. I like a little bit of ombre, but I don't like it too much. And then, like I said, you pull it throughout, lift it up. Now you take the wax again. Like I said, in real life, this takes me probably about five minutes. But when I'm talking through it, it does take me a little bit longer. Boom. 
home. And this little mirror doesn't help. But it helps so that y'all can see what I'm doing. So we're here. I used to not use it. And I would try to use the phone. And I felt like I looked great. till I looked in the mirror and I'm like. Ur -ur. So anyone who's starting to do makeup lives. Or new to unique. Um, I would say something. Get a little hand mirror. Get a little hand mirror and, and go to town. Because when you try to use the phone, it is terribly hard. But it, hey, if you can use the phone, contact me. You need to join my team. Now, I use concealer to clean it up. Again, everybody's different. We're going to use Velour. This is a lighter shade because I am going to go in uh, with some oranges and taupes today on the, on the lids. So, I don't mind using a lighter base. So, Velour is light. And right now, I do have a subscription for a flawless face if you're interested. Hello, hello, if you're interested. And it comes with a foundation of your choosing, including the spray like I use. This is not the brush I wanted. Hey, Tamika. I didn't know you had a new profile pic. It comes with a foundation, a setting powder, setting spray, and a primer of your choice. And a concealer or a boom, look at that. A concealer or a um mascara. So if you're like, because our concealers last forever. My friends tell me that all the time. So if you're like, oh no, you can get a mascara in its place. Boom. And now I'm gonna go on the top. I'm going to go in boost. Yes, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you and the kiddos. What are you doing today? Are you cooking or are you just eating? Boom, those brows. I have the most bougie brows today and I love them. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. Good picks, good picks. I'm going to bring this down and it's going to become our base for our eyeshadow. I feel you. I'll sit there. And I used to do a profile picture every week and I just got. A lot of women in the hidden accent. I love it as a pose. Close, kudos. Run this out. So, all you're doing is taking that blend, but just making it fancy as Sunday dinner. <laughs> well, see, your fancy and my fancy dinners are totally different. So, I feel like your fancy dinner, your just fancier dinner is still way above mine. Hey, TC, how are you? What meat are you having? So all you do is take the blending bud, get that concealer, and like I said, mine is lighter. We're having chicken on the grill. Grilled chicken. My mom keeps saying chicken on the grill. I don't know why she's saying that. And then she has me saying it. Grilled chicken. And I forget what else. I remember greens. And I remember my favorite. I, and not everybody likes this. But I love green beans. I am part of that, that group. And I know some people are like, nah, I hate what I love it. Now we're going to eyeshadow. So I picked the four shades. Because, like, well, you see my outfit. I'm on yellow. I'm in mustard. How's my audio today, to me? So we're going to use Gentle. This is in my um, my kit bundle right now. 
We're going to use, I want to say it's a suit, but I don't want to get it wrong. A suit, impish, and laid back. I was going to just start off my new, I didn't get them wrong. Okay, so the cool thing about this eyeshadow is you take your face, you get whatever you want. Ooh, I pick according to my mood and my outfits. Everybody's different. Roast beef. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I leftover chicken and broccoli half right home cornbread. <laughs> this is a stew. See, a stew is just really a, a taupe. This is one that I recommend you can put in your palette. Like I said, you can make a customized palette. People always say, well, it's only four. I would rather get the addiction. Right, but if you only wear a couple of shades, the pressed eyeshadows are more bang for your buck. Ah! Oh, but it's bearable. Good. I don't know what's going on with it. You know, I saw a recipe for chicken and broccoli alfredo. I was going to make it this week. And, oh my gosh, Tamika, do you like Mexican food? Justice. Yes. Did you take out the trash? No. Okay, remember, take out the trash. Okay. So this is the fluffy crease brush. This is available. It's not taking out the trash. That means take it out now. Making sure it's all even on the eye. And you see, super easy. I'm going to bring it up. If you have a hooded eye, bring it up above the crease. Okay. I don't know who added me to this group, but I love them. There's a it's a Mexican cooking group. So basically, it's how to um, I could say basically how to cook Mexican food with regular grocery items to your house. I don't know who who signed me up, but I think you like just added me in the freaking group. But I ain't mad. Like, most people get mad. This is that impish. Most people get, get mad when people do that. I'm not mad. This is, this is definitely a not mad group. So I got this choke cheese recipe. I mean, there's some recipes that are in there that are a little far out for me and my family's taste. But, like I said, above all, not mad. But it's churro cheesecake. And literally... Okay, <laughs> you're like, you don't even have to ask. Here's the recipe. You take two crescent Pillsbury roll, or what do you call it? Tub tubes? Crescent rolls, cream cheese, and then something with the cream cheese. Oh, brown sugar and regular sugar. And all you do is take the crescent rolls, flatten it out, add in um, the br sprinkle brown sugar on it, and then do both sides. Put one down. Then you do the cream cheese, and there's like two other parts in that. I don't remember. Don't shoot me. But I'm going to add the group to you. It won't even matter. Spread it all in. Then you put the second uh, cranberry or on and bake it for like 10 minutes. Boom, churro cheesecake. This is laid back. So I just want a little lightness on this lid. I'm not going for anything like, I just want it on the lid. This is to make brown eyes pop. This is a satin shade. I didn't even, ha I didn't know I didn't have laid back. 
till someone had posted it and I was like, it's a beautiful ivory. I didn't want it because I felt like I had so many ivories, but I kept seeing everybody with it and I was like, let's order. And now I'm just blending it in right here. Take that gentle. Give that little sprinkle. Oh, I should have waited on that. Oh well. Boom. I look done. Like I said, you have a beautiful little eye. Now, I like to add pressed powder. So take your blending and make sure that that is head blended before you add any powder. And this cleans up your eyeshadow too. Using chiffon. I may have to start using the brush again. So look, we press it. I'm going to use the other side. The problem is that I've been panning for over a month. And the blending bud just doesn't pick it up on the sides. Like, I like it. So that's why we're going to switch to a brush. This is the highlight contour, no, contour brush. I would suggest it for, like I said, in between blending buds. Clean up that eye. And this is going to add youth to your look. And I bring it on the side of the nose. Down the center. This is going to lighten up that look. Right here on the chin. This is just going to brighten up everything. You can use the same color uh, powder if you'd like. I like to brighten. So yeah, if you had my brows looking a little bigger than normal, mind your business, it's quarantine. <laughs> it's the quarantine. I'm thinking about buying a waxer. But I'm like, I kind of like them. Let's use 12 today. 12 is a touch shade. So, again, another question that I always get. What is the difference between mineral, mineral and touch? I think I'll play in makeup. Yay! Yeah, you have to. It. I'm telling you, it makes me feel so good and regular. Like, it makes me forget <laughs> that I'm stuck in the house. as I walk around and ask me where I'm going. Yes. Right here. Look at that. Now getting the nips. Don't know look to do today. Hmm. How about you go for brown neutral? And then do you like pink lips? I'm debating on doing a pink lip. It's pink or nude today. So we're doing the nose. Hey, Cousin Janice, how are you? Happy Easter, happy Easter. To my Edwards family. Okay, so look, that center I took out.
Who's blending it out a little better? Not yet. You know I can't look. I gotta look when I'm alive. I look when I get off though. Now we're just gonna blend this in. Okay, so it looks like I'm touching my face going back and forth. Do not do that. Just go backwards. And a slanted br blah, 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 blah. brush is best. And you just go backwards. You want to do that so it doesn't go forward. You don't look like you're having a beard. And then you go under the chin. This is getting rid of that double chin. So you need to eat all that Easter dinner. I can feel my hat. So you go right there on that contour and bring it down. Yeah, no, I didn't get a chance to look at it yet. Is it cute? Uh, dark setting powder. I'm just going to blend that in. This hat. So you go, when you blend in your contour to your highlight, go around it. Do not straight touch the contour. Don't straight touch the highlight. Otherwise you end up looking, you know, it's been I used to do it and then it looks like you didn't do anything. You're like, why did I take that time to do it? It doesn't look like anything. You blend it all together. I'm going to use that impish as a blush because it looks really pretty. So our eyeshadows are very versatile. Eyeshadow, blush, eyeliner. Boom. Lash Prama. Go in, you lift. There's that piece. Lift and extend. So hello everyone, as you pop on, make sure you friend, follow, and share. This is Lash Primer, I do have a special on it. If you're interested, and I do have a great beauty box right now that comes with $25 gift certificate towards whatever you want. We're lifting, extending. Okay, so I put my mascara in my pocket to warm it up. You can put it between your leg and the bra. You can take it in the shower with you, keep the top on, because you don't want to dry it out. Um, or you can put it in a cup of water, but you want your mascara hot so that it spreads easier. So we're in here, this is the 4D, it does have fibers. I like fibers, but I know some people don't. You either love them or you hate them. We're going in. Hey, Kimberly, how are you? So we're going here and you go in the back. This is just to make your lashes stand out more. Roll them in the back. Front. How are you? How are you? Happy Easter. Is 
It's so weird. Yeah, so I did Joe Exotic look yesterday. I wore it for a couple hours. Because you do, you know, you do your makeup look and you're just... I'm not the type to just rinse it off. I, I, I wish I could, I just don't. So I wore it around a little while. My whole family was like, wow. So now it's weird to look at myself with the regular makeup on. But all I did was I had to go to Walmart to get some Easter stuff. All I did was blend all that together and I, I just looked a little dark. But I was like, I'm not wasting this makeup. My boyfriend was like, you are not going to Walmart with me like that. He was like, <laughs> he was like, I will never tell you what to wear. I'll never tell you what to do. But I'm telling you, you can't go with me like that. I was like, dang. He's like, that goatee thing has got to go. This is pearly. He's like, it's got to go. So you want to do your highlight before you do your lipstick? He's like, it, it's, I can't. It's like, okay. It's like, it's called creativity. He was like, no. I think you gotta get used to it, babe. I'm gonna be this way. This is proper. Dark brown. I'm gonna show you how to use the shade. Maybe you got and you thought it was too light. And you're like, darn it, I have it and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. You pick a dark liner. Blend it out. But yeah, if you get a color and you're like, eh, it's a little too light for me. Put a dark lip liner on. This is a pink. It's called Sunny. I, I really did love it. It's beautiful. But like, it's too pink for me. So, hey, Lori. Hey, Cindy. Happy Easter. So I take a dark brown liner. A line here. A line here. But I really wanted to love it. Here. Oh shoot, and then I missed the whole thing. Blend it out. With their own lips first. Because you want to keep that in the center. Then take your lip brush. Go on the outline first. And then blend it in. And look at that. Okay. It's so pretty. So it just transforms, transforms that lipstick. So like I said, if you have a color that you just feel like, ah, oh, it's too light, I don't like it. Take a dark lip liner. Use it sparingly. Boom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little lighter in the center. You see how it deepened? See, it's the same shade. It just looks on right now. Boom. So if you are interested in any of the makeup that I showed you, everything is available at www.queenj9.com. If you need anything, if you need a color match, I got you. I'm your girl. Hashtag Lash Queen Life.